Hello again. Sometimes in your life you get a lot of harsh remarks or just constant criticism from one or two people in your life. It could be your parent, it could be your partner, it could be your mother-in-law, father-in-law, could be your sibling or just anyone. You might even start feeling like you can't just ever make that person happy. And over a period of time it can start affecting your confidence, self-respect, etc. So, what's the solution? You need to find a way to take that person or persons less seriously. Here I'm going to discuss one way to do that. See, the basic idea around criticism is that when people criticize you, you should be able to consider the content and still reject the harshness or extra negativity. So for example, if somebody criticizes you that you're not being helpful, you should reflect on it. You should think about it. But if somebody starts attacking you with that criticism and starts saying things like you're a completely selfish person, you don't care about anybody, you have not done anything for me, you're this, you're that, in such a case you should be able to protect yourself from the viciousness. How to do that? One way to do that effectively is by focusing on what the rest of the world is saying about you. See, you must get enough respect, politeness, kindness, niceness from so many people in your life. It's not like the whole world is negative with you, it's just those one or two people. Like your father might call you a useless person, but rest of the people probably think you're doing good enough with your life. So you need to remind yourself that my father isn't the authority on truth. He isn't above everybody else. Other people aren't fools. Other people's version about you also reflects reality. So you need to start trusting other people who are kind to you, who are nice to you and you should make their opinion your core belief about yourself. Now of course if everybody else also starts repeating that same criticism, maybe you are doing something wrong with your life and then you must stop and reflect. You must find a way to correct yourself. But this rarely happens. Most of the times it's just one or two highly critical people who bring you down. Your goal is to simply take their voice less seriously. What I just talked about was mainly for your inner peace and strength. In life, you should be able to feel inside that you're a good and worthy person. That is crucial for your sense of well-being and normal functioning. So I'll give you some sample lines which you can repeat to yourself. This person is too negative and destructive in their criticism. It's their problem, not mine. I am not gonna take their words seriously. I'm instead going to focus on the words of hundreds of other people who do talk to me nicely, who do treat me kindly. Their words represent who I am. I'm gonna believe that not the negative version coming from this person. You need to be able to really think that and believe that when necessary. And as you shift your internal reality, your experience changes. See, your brain needs some real evidence that you are a good person, you are a worthy person, and you are securing that evidence from all the people who are good to you. Your internal peace and strength is like the foundation. That's the first step, not the whole picture. Once you feel secure with yourself and confident in yourself, then you can go ahead and ask yourself, what degree of truth did the criticism have? Was there anything that I can learn from the criticism, etc. But this must come later. You can think of it like the second step. First step is simply to stand on solid ground about yourself. Even if I wake you up in the middle of the night, you should be able to say, I'm good enough, I'm worthy of dignity and respect just like everybody else. I hope this helps you reduce the impact of the unnecessary negativity. There are of course other ways you can use to take other people less seriously when necessary. If you want me to share those as well, please like the video and tell me in the comments. Thanks for listening, good luck. These videos can help you to some degree, but if your problems are really serious or painful, you should come for counseling. We now have a team of psychologists who can help you and your family live a much better life. Here are some feedbacks from our clients. If you wish to take counseling from us, go to our website page www.sridharlifeschool.com slash counsel. Click on this link and fill this application form. We will get back to you soon.